Uh, welcome back to Sculpt Space. In this episode, we are going to make a mold out of Hedwig. Uh, if you watched my last video, you would see how I sculpted him out of the monster clay and the process I went through with that. Um, so if you haven't checked out that video yet, I would uh, recommend you check that out before this video. And if you don't really care, then just come along as I make this mold. And uh, I'll show you all the materials when we get to them. And I hope to see you in a little bit. All right, so here's our head wig right here. Alright, so now I'm tracing on the tinfoil where I want my walls to go. Tempo, tempo, can you keep up with my tempo? Tempo, yeah, yeah, blow it up, C4. I just hit the mic jack sign on my tiptoes. Oh, yeah, I know we go wherever that wind blows the end of. And now that I have that, it's time to measure. Don't slip on a Writing the measurements down in my journal. I key, I know. I send all of my rap foes like they my tadpoles. Yeah, yeah. Blow it up, see four. I just had to go crack now on my depot. Yeah, yeah, that Draco doesn't like free throws. And now I'm figuring out how tall he is. Cold, that's why I never knew. Gonna go a little bit higher than he is, just so I have some breathing room. And now it's time to measure on the uh, piece of cardboard. I just caught a groove, yeah. This right here, that Charizard, fire in the booth, yeah. Had to go right back to it, yeah. If you ain't tell my money, please save your breath, don't bring it up to me, yeah. I pull up and I stunt like a 007 James Bond type movie, yeah. Hey. Don't slip on a trip. No, 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 no. Don't slip on a trip. Don't slip on a trip. Don't slip on a trip. Tempo, tempo. You can put my tempo, tempo. Now that I have all my measurements traced out on my cardboard, it is now time to cut it out. Now that they are cut out, it is time to glue them down with the glue gun. This step can be a little time consuming just because it takes a while for the glue to dry. All 
I glue the bases down and then I move on to gluing the walls together. Then you put him in to see if he fits, and he fits perfectly. Now I'm brushing on clay softener just to get rid of all those fingerprints. Now it's time to mix a little bit of silicone for the first uh, brush on. Doing this step um, just ensures that the silicone gets in all the cracks and crevices uh, before we pour it on. Now that the first layer has dried, it's time to cut him out. Place him in our box. Oh, 
Now it's time to measure a lot more silicone and pour that on top. I'm pouring it high over the sculpture. This is just to ensure that there aren't any, any bubbles in the finished product. And it's just that simple. All right, so welcome back. Uh, we just finished up our mold here for Hedwig. Um, and I put some alcohol in here to dry up some of that clay. So it should be ready to cast. Um, so I'll show you how to do that in the next video. I'll show you a cast and <clears throat> sand and prime in that video. And then in the next video, after that one, I'll show you how to paint and gloss. Um, so stick around for those. Uh, if you like what I do, feel free to subscribe, leave a like, comment, just share the video around if you found it helpful, useful, you just like the sound of my voice. Yes, I am on my knees right now because I didn't feel like bringing my chair in here. So I'm just doing this like this. Uh, so if you guys like what I do, and you wanna see more content like this, just share it around or let me know that you like it. And I'll see you in the next episode, beautifuls.